Hello everyone and welcome. I, d I'm, I want a new intro. I need to figure out a new intro. I don't like hello everyone and welcome. But I also don't want to do like, hey guys, what's up? What's going on? I, I don't know. I need to figure something out. Hello everybody and welcome back to Beam and G. It has been a couple weeks since I made a video. So I'm a bit lost as to what I'm doing. Surprisingly, I still never really figured it out to begin with, but I'm still lost. Don't you worry about that. So we're going to be doing some scenarios uh, because I don't know what else to do. I've been going through games. I can't find anything I really want to play. I do want to continue like maybe some Chernobylite or some Subnautica, but that's not for right now because I just want I want to ease back into things and I want to be able to keep going with something easier and while a series is easy technically uh there's a lot of like jump in jump out keep talking don't talk and just issues with me in those regards for some reason i seem to be sitting higher in frame uh if anyone was wondering what the purpose of the cat ears up here uh, the razor kraken cat ear things they're really just to help me for the most part with uh framing uh because they're really bright in camera so they help a little bit there. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit. I hope you guys have uh, had a good weekend. We're going to get into the game here. You can't even see my hand because it's hidden by the microphone. Uh, we're going to get into the game. We're going to be doing uh, some scenarios in BMNG. We're going to be starting with Goliath because stopping a big rig with a SUV seems interesting. And uh, we'll do a couple more. And yeah, that'll be that for today, I guess. Does it show that I don't know what I'm doing anymore? I feel like it shows. Did I ever know what I was doing? That's the real question. So frame rate seems to be good. Uh, I just want to cover this real quick. Uh, in the last... I'll take a screenshot and add it in here just to kind of explain this, but uh, in the last video I recorded was 5M, and there was some frame rate issues, and the reason for that is I run NVE and everything's on roughly high, very high, which is good. My computer can handle that, but with the way I record, uh, I record two instances of 1080p 60fps video capture, which I'll show. I'll put a, a screen cap in here to show you guys what I'm talking about. So if there's frame rate issues in anything, that's why I'm recording two 1080. 60 FPS recordings in OBS right now can cause issues. Um, doesn't usually cause issues in anything other than GTA, but if there's issues, it's probably why. Okay. So this is Goliath, and we are in a police car. Uh, K25 looks like, okay. So our whole goal is to just stop Oh dear, is to just stop that 18-wheeler up there at any means necessary. So I'm just going to try and slam that front wheel, take it out. I think I failed at my only goal. Yeah, that didn't stop him at all. Okay. Okay. Come on, pull it over. Come on. Oh, I got the wheel. No, no, it's got my wheel. Oh, now I got his wheel. Oh, nope. Come on, pull it over. Wheel still attached. Oh, we got him. We got him. 
that was really quick. We're gonna do that again. So I'm thinking we slam the trailer and try and take out the back axles. That sounds like it might work. If I don't take myself out on these rocks. Which is perfectly possible. Oh, I missed the axles entirely. Can we slow him down? <laughs> can we, can we do it like this? Doesn't really seem like it. Okay, so that didn't go quite as planned. So this time we're gonna try and take out the back axles. I just gotta get my aiming a little bit more on target. There we go. That's the target I was after. And the radiator's still intact. Oh, we did nothing! You're kidding me! It did absolutely nothing! Come on! Oh! I think we might got him. I think we might have him. Not quite in the way I was anticipating, but we got him. Okay, I got two more ways I want to try and bring this guy down. So we're going to try this one. Uh, this way is a bit more indetermined. I'm not really sure what I'm going for here. And the second way is we're going to, uh, well, we'll see when we get to it. Yeah, that's it. I'm going for that front wheel again. You know, I'm not surprised. We're just gonna follow him through the tunnel. Cause I know he goes through the tunnel. Um, Cause I did this one a long time ago. So we're just gonna follow him through the tunnel. This will take a, a moment. What is causing that light? What What is that shadow? Yeah, we're just gonna follow him through the tunnel. We're gonna try and take him out on the other side. Cause I know on the other side, there's a lot more open road. I'm going to try and get some speed and just slam into him. Because I feel like if I could get enough speed down that on-ramp, I could have just took him out then. But I really need speed to do anything to that truck. Okay, here we go. Oh no, that didn't do anything. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the rolls have reversed. Okay, I've got one more plan. I don't know if I can manage it. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Nope. I'm sideways. Oh no, he stopped. Kind of. Come on. Come on. Nope. We're out. He's just going to drive away with my rear... My hatch. Just waiting for that right time. We're not wasting it this time. We're taking him down. I hope. Well, I absolutely destroyed the front of my car. But, it was worth it. Somebody just robbed the local gas station. Witnesses say they were seen leaving in a Salad Wendover. Find and arrest them.
let's do it. Okay, so I'm assuming that a lot, like most of the rest of these uh, police scenarios, I can only do so much damage to my own car. But I don't feel like that should stop us from just trying to ram the guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, going in for that, uh, that solid GTA style pit maneuver. Perfect. <laughs> um, we might have put him around a tree. All of this stealing, all of this for stealing, that for stealing a bag of chips. Okay. We're Gavril Motors has sponsored a stunt driving event. Showcase the strength of the new D25. Stunt jumps have been placed along the course. You will be given points the bigger your jumps will be. What? You have no time limit, but try to keep the pace up. Okay, so I'm gonna die a lot. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I like the look of this truck though. It's a good looking truck. All right, so I just have to hit jumps, get points. Get big air, get big points. It's a good looking truck. Little, uh, little fun fact about me that, uh, probably no one really knows. Ooh. I used to own a, uh, well, I mean, I didn't. Oh. I didn't necessarily own it. Right, my dad owned it, but he gave it to me uh, when I turned 16, 15, something like that. It was a uh, 77. Chevy C10 Custom. Beautiful truck. Old, rusted, seen better days, but, you know, practically unkillable type of thing. Beautiful, like, very interesting shade of green with, um, God, what did it have? It had the metal flake paint. It's beautiful. Um, I sold it for a thousand dollars. Not because I didn't like it. It was a beautiful truck. I loved the thing. But it would have cost more for us to fix up than to sell it to someone who needed parts to get their truck restoration completed. Um, really wish I'd gotten more than a thousand out of it, though. Just a little random fact. Uh, maybe if I can find a decent picture of it, I'll throw it up in the in the video. I don't I don't think I'll have any decent pictures of it because everything was you know taken on phones, and uh, times have changed. We'll say that. We'll say that. I won't go into what that means, but if anyone has actually seen this truck, anyone that knows me has seen this truck, you'll probably understand. But. It was a beautiful truck, and I wish that uh, I still had it. Nah, instead, now I have a, uh, a rundown Chrysler 200 and a bright yellow Dodge Nitro. So. I have the Jeep that wanted to be... Don't let me, that's technically a Liberty. And, uh... uh the world's fakest luxury sedan. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's just it's just filler as I as I'm doing this. I'm doing this with my head because I'm seeing in the corner of my eye that the frame rate really seems to be chugging on the camera for some reason. I think I know why. I, I think I know why. I've got like a secondary port running today and it's probably causing the the frame rate issues, but we'll see how it is in editing. It's probably going to be absolutely terrible because I can look up and see my mouth freezing every other frame. That might look all right in the uh, editing. I don't know, 60 FPS. If only every other frame is freezing, then that puts it at 30, but it, uh, it doesn't look like 30. But we'll see. Oh, no. No, my steering, no. This became less about the game and more of just a weird little... Uh, Rambles story time, doesn't it? It's 
been so long since I've recorded anything. I gotta get used to looking at the camera again, because I keep looking at the monitors, because I don't have a... Uh, flip out view! Oh! Oh, that... that hurt. That hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt worse. Hmm. I don't have a flip out view on the camera. I should do a setup tour at some point now that I've got things cleaned up a little bit more. Um, ignore the blatant mess on the table to my side if at any point you see the uh, whole face cam like probably at the beginning of this video. My, my background has been on a, a bit of a hiatus break and I've not touched anything. I haven't even made my calendar for this month yet because I make it in uh, Photoshop on my iPad uh, to keep track of everything throughout the month. So I'm really, really just lagging behind right now and I gotta, I've got to change a lot of things. But once I get the rest of my background cleaned up, I plan on doing that little uh, setup show off thing so you guys can understand why I'm looking in two different places that are not the camera. <laughs> I really need to get a, a monitor the tiny monitor fixed so I can have a relatively close view to the camera so I can see myself when I'm doing this instead of looking so far to the sides. Come on. Because I don't know if any of you out there uh, make videos and uh, do face cam, but for me at least, um, I find myself looking more to the viewfinders, if you want to call them that, my OBS, uh, outputs, inputs, whatever. I find myself looking more to them uh, to see myself, less because I just want to make sure I'm in frame, because again, you know, cat ears and all that, but more because it feels less crazy, because it feels more like I'm talking to someone, whatever I'm looking, when I, whenever I look up here at the camera to talk to you guys, it feels more natural to see a person, so looking at the viewfinder uh, to see myself Makes more sense. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the steering's gone. The steering's gone, though. Oh, God. Yep, the steering's out. The steering's out. It feels more natural to look at a person than it does to look at a camera. So, again, I don't know if any of you out there uh, record videos or do uh, face cams, but if you do, I mean, let me know that I'm, if I'm crazy or not for feeling more natural to look at a physical human being, even if it is myself, than the lens. I mean, I even put uh, googly eyes next to the camera lens, sorta, they fell off, but one of them did, uh, to kind of give it a focal point to draw my attention to whenever I look at it, and it does work for the most part, but it's not perfect. Uh, I still find myself looking at a... I, I'm, d I'm doing it on purpose right now, glancing over to the monitor to look at myself to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. Excuse me. A little strange. That's probably why I also haven't eaten anything today, and I decided to drink it because after I do this, I'm going to go make some food, and then I've got another recording i got to do. So it's a day. It's a weird day for me. It's been a while, and I'm getting back into it, and I really have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. I just really want to finish this uh, this jump course without destroying the truck because I've never done it. The suspension usually goes out before I finish it though. Uh, it's just been a while since I've touched Beam and G. Uh, actually, it's been a been a few weeks. I believe it was like the last thing I recorded. No, the last thing I recorded was 5M. I've discussed that already. Does it show that I'm very scatterbrained and have no idea what's going on? I feel like it shows. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I don't feel like a truck of this size would be safe to try and handbrake turn like that in. Or that it would be this bouncy, but then again, I can't say I would know from experience. Definitely not. Definitely no experience in uh, doing reckless things in large trucks. Absolutely none. Didn't grow up in Alabama. Oh! God, it doesn't turn though.
Which, uh... That's a weird sound. Just again, another weird little story, if anyone's still watching. I mean, I used to have a, uh, like, my first actual vehicle that was mine and I drove when I turned 16 was a 2000 Silverado Z71. It had been a workhorse all of its 14 years of existence. And uh, it had transmission issues. The engine would, uh, after a certain amount of time after I had it, the, the transmission went out, the reverse gear blew, the four-wheel drive didn't work. still love the truck. I miss it every day. Every day I see one, I wish I had it. Oh, for the first time I finished this course. And the suspension only slightly looks like it's gone out. Yeah, every day, every time I see one, I still wish I had my truck, but... Uh, the transmission went out, and then after we got the transmission replaced, uh, the engine started randomly shutting off. So, apart from the times that I absolutely had no reckless driving incidents in that truck, um, the thing almost killed me twice, with the engine randomly shutting off going through an intersection, and then while facing down a hill, with a really large drop-off ditch on the other side. And, you know, in a truck like that, when the power goes out... Did I win? I think I won. In, in a truck like that, when the power goes out, the steering goes out and it becomes... Uh, becomes manual steering. Okay. Uh, but <clears throat> when, when the power, like, when the power steering goes out in a truck like that, it's, um, I'm not sure if all cars do because the Equinox I once had had electric steering. So if the power went out, there was no steering, I believe. Um, but it was power steering in the Silverado. So once the power went out, there was still manual steering, but it was at such a slow speed that being able to turn to get into a driveway and get on the brakes to be able to get safely because it was crossing a live road where the speed limit is 65 and people drive recklessly Ooh. that, you know, I wanted to be on the other side of the street before trying to come to a complete stop to turn the thing back on. And it was, it was scary. You know, I've, I, I haven't been in anything too awful comparatively. Like that's like some of the worst experiences in my uh, driving career, driving life, whatever you want to call it. But those are some of the worst experiences I've had. I've, you know, I've had spin outs in intersections in the rain or, you know, do 360s or 720s, whatever it was. It's another story. Um, you know, I've I've been in a uh, almost a collision someone wasn't paying attention came into my lane and to avoid any sort of accident including going into oncoming lanes i stuffed the vehicle i was driving into a guardrail it's not fun and i'd like to say that i'm fairly mild mannered you know usually pretty calm i, I especially am quiet when it comes to people because i'm fairly introverted that's probably the first time I've ever yelled at a, uh, just some random person because of it. Like, they, uh... It was their fault. You know, I, I could have done something different to avoid it, but to avoid from anyone else's vehicle being damaged, I stuffed the one I was driving into a guardrail and... <sighs> These are the experiences that make us. That's gonna do it for this video. I mean, I don't know what it turned into. Just a weird story time from a rambles thing. I have no idea what this video was even going to be. But thank everybody so much for watching. If you liked, hit the like button, the, the share, the bell, subscribe, all that normal chitter chatter, blah, blah. Ignore the messy background over here as I can't even figure out where my hand goes on the screen. And uh, thank you for watching. And I'm going to try and get back into the weeks again. I took a small break that went a little longer than intended because I just needed to clear my head and get some new ideas because of analytics. If any of you try to run a channel, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in whatever comes next. Bye, guys.